Happy Halloween, ghouls and goblins. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting here. Oh, by the way, I'm Cinnamon Stitches. My name is Jennifer. Welcome to the channel. My brain is non-functioning today. <laughs> this video is going to be short and probably not sweet and not to the point because I'm exhausted. I'm just going to give this going to be a week update, a week, a, a middle of the week. It's not, it's middle of the week. I'm filming this on Wednesday. I'm sitting here and I'm probably, I probably need to go lay down and take a nap. I'll tell you why in a minute. And I can't rest because I want to put a chat. I, I want to end the month with a video because I always try to, like, I have goals for my channel every month. I try to meet those goals every month and so I need to make a video and I'm sitting here and this is the hardest part of being a podcaster, of being a content creator, is coming up with new content constantly. It is difficult I, and anybody that says that it's easy, it's not and I don't care who you are, what type of channel you have, how big your channel is, coming up with content is difficult and I'm sitting in the living room and I'm looking at Juju and she's all what? I said I'm so tired. She said go to bed. I said I can't. She said, why? I said, because I need a video for tomorrow and I'm not going to be able to rest because my brain is racing on all the things I should be doing and can and need to be doing on a channel, like the whole thing. And, and I'm stressed about the channel, right? So here we are. I'm sitting in my room, stressing out that I don't have a video for Halloween Day. Now, what are we doing on Halloween Day? Uh, let me rewind back and tell you why I'm so tired. <laughs> As you know, we have puppies. As you know, the puppies have kennel cough. Last night, yesterday specifically, they took a turn and got really sick. Specifically, the one that Juju is looking to adopt. A.K.A. Ponyo. Um, Ponyo was really, really sick last night. And I'm contacting the shelter and I'm like, I need to know what to do. Do I need... They need to be... They need antibiotics. They need to see a vet something. Like, that. they're sick. And someone posted a comment that... Um, she actually lost a puppy to kennel cough, which terrified me. And I'm like, all right, as a mom, we all know any, anyone who's a parent or even a pet parent, you know that when someone you love is sick, you can't sleep. You can't sleep. You watch over them and you hope they keep breathing and you, you, you wake up at every little gasp or every little weird breath or every cough or... As a mom, like, I have experience with that. Juju is 19, and she's been taking the night shift, and she she was scheduled to work today. They, she actually had someone pick up her shift so she didn't have to work, which is fantastic because she's tired too. And I looked at her, and I'm like, okay, I'm the one that signed up for these foster dogs. I'm not going to make her take the night shift when they're sick like this. I'm going to let her get some rest. So we both camped out downstairs on the recliner sofa. And um, I gave her the the Valari pillow. <laughs> I was like, just keep it and keep your dog on your chest. That way she doesn't roll off the couch or like you feel her moving around. And um, the Valari pillow worked really good to keep the puppy on Juju. And you may hear them coughing in the background. Last night was really rough. Um, Ponyo specifically was just... She was so filled with mucus and she's trying to get it out of her nose and she's struggling to breathe and like I'm putting her in the steam shower. I'm giving her medicine because you can give puppies mucinex but you have to be really careful because they're all around five pounds. Like that's how small they are. I weighed them because in contacting with the, um, the shelter they're like we need a weight. We need pictures of what the mucus looks like. We're going to try to contact the vet tomorrow etc to get you some antibiotics for the puppies. I go tonight, which is actually yesterday. At, I go at 6 p.m. to go pick up antibiotics. They got me antibiotics. Thank God. Um, and you know, you just don't sleep. And so I, I'm i sleeping on the couch. Juju is like one recliner over from me on the couch. And um, I stress crocheted a male body part with that yarn which you can see either if you're a member you can see it or you can see it in the Facebook group I crocheted that because I was I was anxious and I wasn't sleeping and I was just you know I was trying to calm myself
because I was scared something happened to this puppy. Juju's heart's going to be broken. Like, what am I going to do if I lose a puppy? Like, I can't handle that. <laughs> and I was up until Mr. Cinnamon left for work. And at that point, I was so beyond tired. And, sh and from the stress and stuff, my stomach hurt really, really bad. And I felt like I was going to be sick. And I just, I haven't been that tired in a long time. And I'm like, I need to go to bed. So I went upstairs and I left Juju with the three puppies. And and I nursed Ponyo all night long back to just being able to breathe. Like I did the the steam. The, I, we steamed her up in the shower. I gave her um, the Mucinex before bed. We're giving her the, the, what is that syrup called? Elderberry syrup to boost her immune system. I'm giving her warm water to drink to like kind of break it up as she's drinking. And it was around four o'clock when she stopped wheezing and gasping and coughing and hacking and like I said it's four in the morning and Juju was sleeping most of the time she was she wasn't sleeping soundly she was stirring when I was getting up she was stirring when the puppy was coughing but she for the most part was asleep and um that's still not good sleep. She's exhausted too. She's in the living room with the puppies now. <laughs> I no sooner got Ponyo calmed down, settled down, like, and I, she was good and asleep. And I put her in the crate with the two boys, and the two boys started hacking. And I was like, <sighs> so when Mr. Cinnamon's alarm went off, he came downstairs. He's all, "You all right?" I was like, "No, I haven't been asleep." And he's all, "Oh God." He's all. What, what are, what's going to happen with the shelter? I was like, I'm waiting in the morning to hear back. And um, first thing this morning, we got antibiotics come by 6 p.m. tonight because they have to drive out to the vet and the vet. And like, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And so um, I, I went upstairs. I left Juju downstairs with the puppies. I didn't even wake her up and let her know I was leaving. And I laid down. I slept four hours. I slept four hours. I didn't sleep real good four hours, but I slept four hours. And I woke up, and I came downstairs, and the puppies weren't hacking as much. So I fed them. We took them outside. I gave them their medicine, which is Mucinex and elderberry syrup. And um, cleaned up all the pee and the poops. And like did all the puppy things. And I looked at Juju, and I started crying. I was like, I don't think I can do this again. <laughs> I don't think I can foster puppies again unless I know that they're like they came here and they were semi healthy I could tell right off the bat they had kennel cough because they had drainage I didn't think it was gonna get that bad like that and I'm only crying because I'm so tired like I'm just you ever just been so tired you just can't think straight and so <laughs> I was like little man wakes up I did homeschool with him and that's why this video is not, it's just going to be me talking. It's not going to be anything spectacular. If you don't stick with me through the whole video, that's fine. Hey. She's alerting that the school bus is across the street. Have you guys tried these waters? Have you seen these? They're in all these right now. I've had them before. The pink one is the best. The lemon is pretty good. All right. I'm just going to give it a minute. Benny, come here, Bubba's. And then Benny throws up this morning. <sighs> it's not all bad, though. It's not all bad. I'm not on here to complain. It's not all bad. I'm just really tired. That's why there's not a proper video today. Um, and I've done this in the past where I, I sign on and I'm like, okay, there's not a video today. And then I make a whole video and it's just me talking. So if you don't mind just spending some time, a few minutes with me on this All Hallows Eve. Um, so with all of that, today in your world, Halloween, I am so boyfriend is coming over not my boyfriend juju's boyfriend is coming over at least that's the plan and they're gonna watch halloween movies and they're gonna take care of the puppies while mr cinnamon passes out 
Halloween candy for the trick-or-treaters and I take little man trick-or-treating and it was hit or miss he almost didn't trick-or-treat he's like I don't want to get a costume I don't want to look stupid I don't want to like and he's starting to, he's 10 I didn't trick-or-treat with him last year because I had a broken leg if you recall and so the fact that I may have missed his last year trick-or-treating was devastating to me I'm like no like I just need him to give me one last year if this is the last year it's the last year but I just need him to give me one last year and so we all talked to him and we're like, are you sure you don't want to trunk or treat? We'll take you to some trunk or treats. So we took him to two trunk or treats. And so that I don't have to do extra editing, I'm just going to show you the pictures on my phone of everything. Um, we went to two trunk or treats. Well, I went to one trunk or treat. Me and Mr. Cinnamon took him to one and left the puppies at home because Juju was working. And then Mr. Cinnamon took him back out again to a second trunk or treat. This is his costume. He's death. <laughs> and if you look, there's things that he wears on his eyes. They're glasses, but they don't cover his eyes. They actually hang right here, but they go on his face like glasses, but they don't at all obstruct his vision. It's just balls that hang right here, and they light up to look like spooky eyeballs that light up. It's a cool costume. We got it at um we got it at Walmart. It was like 20 bucks. He wanted to be something scary, and I think the fact that his face is covered lets him kind of be um, anonymous so that he doesn't feel stupid or embarrassed. Um, so we went to Trunk or Treat, and they had this giant, this thing was huge. It was a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It was, I want to say at least 20 feet. I've never seen a, a blow up that big. Like, it was huge. And then at the place that, that was holding the trunk or treat, they also have a pumpkin patch. So we stopped and got Lucas a pumpkin. And this is him at the pumpkin patch. And this is Mr. Cinnamon and Little Man carrying the pumpkins. I didn't get a pumpkin the past several years because I hate carving pumpkins. I like cooking the seeds and eating the seeds. And I like watching and participating with them to help them design or draw faces or whatever. I don't enjoy cutting pumpkin. I used to love it and I just hate it now. The pumpkin juice burns my fingers and that's a new thing. This is the first year we went pumpkin picking without Juju and that was a little bit sad. But I mean she's working and she's earning her money so she can adopt her puppy. And I can't fault her for that. And then um yeah. So they did that and then Mr. Cinnamon took him to another trunk or treat that same night and he, they had a good time and now he's excited about trick-or-treating um so he's gonna go trick-or-treating and I don't know how much we're gonna set up our Halloween decorations like we normally do because there's a lot going on I, I mean life is really crazy right now and that's my fault it totally is my fault and I'm not complaining about that it's just it is what it is um uh, there's mice in our garage and so some of our blow-ups got little chew holes in them so they have holes in them so we also had mechanical failure on a couple of our blow-ups so we lost both of the trees that are from our decorations this year they're just big blow-up trees and the one that lights up with fire his arms do this he was my favorite and I'm I'm kind of bummed that we lost him but and he wasn't that old and he was expensive i mean he was a clearance but he was still expensive for a clearance purchase so now we're down the two trees ursula has a hole in her and then i have an obelisk with a bat on the top and that one is not wanting to stand up at all so it's been like a disaster with just the halloween decorations functioning and Halloween day, Mr. Cinnamon usually sets up smoke machines, laser machines that shoot lasers. We set up a big screen and the projector and we project movies on the screen. And we do, we do all kinds of cool stuff. And I just don't know. He hasn't been feeling good for a while. I don't know if he's going to have the energy or the willpower to do all that. And I know I don't. So I think it's going to be... Um, a much reeled back version of Halloween than it has been in, in years past. And it's a little sad because if all goes well and we're able to move next year, this can be our last Halloween in this neighborhood. And the neighbors, like our neighborhood comes looking for our house. They come to our house because we have, 
it's not just we go all out with Halloween decorations or we have the movies that you can sit down and watch. It's we interact with the kids. Like, it's not, oh, trick or treat, close the door on them. We set up outside in the driveway with tables and chairs and, and goodies. And Mr. Cinnamon actually bought full-size candy bars this year, which I think he's crazy. But the price for the full size was like 60 cents more than the big bags. So I just hope he doesn't run out of candy in the middle of the night. I don't think he will, but I mean, we always buy way too much candy. So I don't think I'm gonna do my traditional video of the Halloween decorations this year just because everything. Like I gotta get the puppies on their medication. I gotta get them well enough to get their series of their their first series of shots. Um I gotta worry about taking a little man trigger trading by myself because Juju usually goes with me. Um it's just a lot. So I don't think I'm gonna do my traditional like, ooh, here's our house, it's so cool. I might. I might. If it shows up tonight, it shows up tonight. I, I like to do a little short and I walk through. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I also haven't crocheted or knit that much this week at all. I made a wiener last night. Um, everything else I have showed you, I finished. I, and I showed you. Well, I showed... I showed photos on Instagram and in the Facebook group that I finished the Halloween blanket. I put a border on it. It's done. It's actually on the living room couch because I've been using it. So I can't really show you that either. But um, yeah, that's what's going on today. Do you guys have any Halloween traditions that you do for Halloween? I would like to hear that. Do you pass out candy? Do you not have kids? Do you watch scary movies do you not like scary movies i've had a lot of people question me about things recently so uh i had someone ask me today do i like stephen king i loved scary movies when i was younger i liked stephen king movies um they weren't like real super gory and stuff so i i like i mean some of them were kind of gory but they were just mostly like kind of like freaky you know stephen king's a little weird <laughs> so i liked him my favorite Halloween movie, or my favorite scary movies, not Halloween movies, because that's a whole different genre. There's horror, and then there's Halloween. Two different, separate things. My favorite horror movies growing up was Nightmare on Elm Street. And the reason is because my Uncle Peaches that lived down the street, his name is PJ, um, he lived down the street. And every year around my birthday, which is August 9th, there would be a new release of uh, a Friday, the not Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street movie, and he really, he loved, he was all about the horror flicks. Like, he would watch Blood Diner with me, which is kind of gory. He would watch, he loved Friday the 13th. He loved Halloween. He loved um, Nightmare on, he loved Nightmare on Elm Street because he thought it was funny. He would just laugh like a madman watching that movie. <laughs> like, all of them. And so every year for my birthday, and his birthday is September 11th. Now, my uncle PJ had um, a learning disability. He could not read. He had really bad social anxiety, and those two things made it impossible for him to work. So he was on SSI. And so he only got paid once a month. And for some reason, he would get paid on the 3rd, I believe, and by the 9th, he was broke. So he would avoid me on my birthday at all costs. And then come time for his birthday, September 11th, he would, like when he got paid September 3rd, he would treat the two of us for our birthdays and we would go see Nightmare on Elm Street when the new ones came out every year. And it was kind of like our tradition. And for me, it was special because um, I just think growing up, like I was ignored a lot and I was like the squeaky wheel and, and I got yelled at more than I got loved on because I was loud and I was opinionated and I spoke my truth loudly to everyone who would listen. I... I was a lot like little man, you know. I was high energy. I got into trouble and I hurt myself a lot because I had so much energy. Like, broke my arm. I fell off a bike. I got stitches in my face. Um, I have sprained my ankle I don't know how many times. I have scars all over my knees from falling so much from just being wild. Bentley is dreaming yet again. I think he thinks he's a horse. He just did that. <laughs> um, so Nightmare on Elm Street was was a big one. Um, 
I did not like Freddy vs. Jason. I thought that one was stupid. I didn't like the one where Jason, um, what was that? Jason was in space or something. Was that the same one or is that a different one? So we would also watch, um, Halloween, um, Friday the 13th. Um, those were like really big in, in his genre. My uncle was obsessed with Dark Shadows. <laughs> Dark Shadows is a spooky soap opera. In case you don't know what Dark Shadows is. I remember every time I was homesick from school. You, that theme music would come on. And my mom and PJ would sit down. Because it was my mom's brother. They were 13 months apart. So they were like Irish twins. And they were always really close growing up together. Because they were the two out of the 10 kids. That were like close in age. And close in relationship. Because my mom has a lot of siblings. Um... And PJ lived down the street, so he was always around. Like he, he came over several times a day. He would just walk down the street, come to our house, complain to my mom, and then he would go back home. <laughs> um, so yeah, I liked, I loved horror movies, scary movies growing up. But I, sometime around the time I had Juju, the scary movies got even scarier to me. And I started realizing that there's really scary things in the world. And it's funny because I'll watch a murder documentary all day long. I can't watch scary movies. I'll have nightmares. I don't understand that. I don't understand how my brain works. I even have nightmares from Jurassic Park movies. They scare me. And I don't know why. Because, like, I can watch them and feel fine. But it is guaranteed I'm going to have nightmares about dinosaurs killing us. At, you know, <laughs> in the middle of the night. It's guaranteed. My favorite Halloween movie. Um, there are several. I think Hocus Pocus has been my favorite since it came out. Hocus Pocus. Love Hocus Pocus. I also liked Hocus Pocus, the new one that just came out. Um, I guess Beetlejuice would be a Halloween movie because it come, like a lot of people watch Beetlejuice. But for me, when I was a teenager and Beetlejuice came out, we babysat for this little kid named Matthew. He was my dad's, one of my dad's good friends. And they had two little boys, Matthew and Craigie. And Matthew was... I think Matthew might have been neurodivergent now looking back on it because he would obsessively watch one movie every single day over and over and over and over again for a period and then he would switch to a new he would hyper fixate on a specific movie and for a while it was Beetlejuice and when Beetlejuice ended he would cry so that we would rewind the VHS and play Beetlejuice again so I have seen Beetlejuice probably 8,000 times I could tell you all the words to Beetlejuice so for a good span of time I couldn't watch Beetlejuice because I had seen it so many times it drove me crazy but now 20 years 30 years later <laughs> I actually enjoy Beetlejuice I like watching Beetlejuice with my kids and I really really like the new Beetlejuice I thought that was a really good movie I also really love all of the Haunted Mansion versions of the movie so there's a Haunted Mansion movie with Eddie Murphy. That's my favorite. The second favorite is the one that they did with the Muppets. It's on Disney Plus. So it's the Muppets Haunted Mansion. It is so well themed to the ride at Disney World. It's so good. <laughs> I really like that one. And then there's a new Haunted Mansion that they remade that is good, but it's it's not my favorite. And I've only seen it twice. Um, what other Halloween movies do I like? Spookly the Square Pumpkin's good for the kids. Um, Little Man has always liked that because I think he relates to Spookly. He's always felt different. And I relate to that. Um, Charlie Brown's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, is a classic. But my kids have never really watched... Juju watched it. Little Man has never liked it. He's not a Snoopy fan. I think it's just... Because it's so hard to find it now because I think Apple bought it. Now you can't find that movie anywhere. So he hasn't really seen it a whole lot. Um, but yeah. Oh, there's a new movie for Thanksgiving out that came out last year. It's called Turkey Hollow. It is so cute. It's made like the old Jim Henson type movies. Like there's creatures in there. I think it might be a Jim Henson movie. It's called Turkey Hollow. Look it up and watch it. It's a thanks. It's more of a Thanksgiving movie. It's so cute. You watch it now. Watch it later. Whatever. Um, my favorite 
Halloween music to listen to is the Boo To You Parade music from Walt Disney World is my favorite Halloween song of all time. I love the Monster Mash and Purple People Eater because I grew up with those. Like, those were a big deal when I was a little kid. Um, and then, what other? Oh, what is that song from the Disney Channel? Coming to get ya, coming to get ya. What is it? Where's that song? All the monsters. I gotta look it up because it's gonna drive me crazy. It's, I can't even think of the girl's name. Let's see, coming to get you. Song. Halloween. Disney. That ain't it. That ain't it. Oh, Calling All the Monsters from China and McLean. I love that song. Me and Juju have always rocked out to that song. Calling All the Monsters. Calling All the Monsters. Hey, hey. And Thriller. Thriller. Dun, 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 thriller. So, yeah, I have a Halloween playlist for movies, for TV shows, and for music. <laughs> I love Halloween. And then I swear. The second it's it's time to take down the Halloween decorations, Christmas is coming up because I bought myself a new Christmas decoration. I think it was last year one of you guys sent me... Um, uh, first of all, last year one of you sent me a stitch in a pumpkin that is... I can't remember that designer. It's a, it's a figurine. I can't remember the name of the designer right now. And then for Christmas, I got a stitch holding Christmas lights. Costco made the big version of him from the same designer. And he's like this, he's like this big. I can't wait to open him up and put him out. He's going to be my favorite hall or Christmas decoration. So <laughs> one holiday at a time, slow your roll, Jen. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about, I like Chris, or I like, I love Christmas. I like Halloween a lot. Um. I think this could be the first year where I don't dress up. I don't have, I don't have the extra energy to find a costume or dress up. And I almost always dress up. And I don't think I have anything unless I went and bought a witch hat. Which I think a witch hat would look fantastic with my hair, right? I don't even have an outfit that I could wear. I used to have a dress that I would wear as, and I would dress up as a witch every year. I don't have anything for a costume. I just don't have that energy to put together this year, but I love, I love, I might paint my face. I might paint my face so that little man doesn't feel alone trick-or-treating. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I also like to scare the trick-or-treaters with my cackle, my witch cackle. <laughs> so, another thing we really haven't done this year is we like to go once a week and just drive around and look at Halloween houses. And we've only done that once this year. And I don't think Juju went with us. It was just us and Little Man. And um, we've only done it once. And we usually go every week. <sighs> but with the puppies, like, it's hard. And with everybody's work schedule and everybody's busy schedule. I have, my schedule is so rearranged right now. Homeschool comes first. And then, like, mom stuff comes second. And then the channel comes last so what's been happening is I will either wake up really early to record a video and then do homeschooling and then after homeschooling I will edit and upload it so I'm working later in the, the day or I homeschool if I sleep in a little bit and then after homeschool I will record and then edit and upload now if you're watching a one hour video for me like if I'm sitting here talking for an hour that's an hour of my day that's completely gone like I can't get that back and then the editing and uploading process, even though I do a very basic edit and upload, it's still an hour to two hours because the the rate at which my computer saves the compiled files, because it's this camera records in 17 minute and 27 second increments. So I, if my video is an hour long, I have to put all those pieces together and stitch them together and put the header on and the tail light on and then stitch them together and then it saves it and then it saves it to the computer and then it does all this other crap like processing this and doing it. like it's all this stuff and then 
then I have to upload it and make sure all the information is in everywhere and I do all that for for YouTube so an hour-long video for you guys is like a two to three hour process for me which isn't too bad I'm not complaining about that at all it's actually a pretty good job like I like my job I like the freedom that I have with it but um, it does take a big chunk of my day out we also usually like to have for Halloween night we like to do a special meal and Juju wants to make dirt cake gluten-free of course if you don't know what dirt cake is um, and a lot of people make it differently I will not be partake partaking in that because it's got sugar and stuff in it but it's ground up gluten-free for us Oreo cookies um, vanilla pudding cream cheese and Cool Whip I think I've never made it Juju and Mr. Cinnamon always make it and so you make like you mix the, all the white fluffy ingredients together you can also do a chocolate pudding version instead of vanilla pudding but we like the vanilla pudding better um, you mix all those together and you make like a, a, a fluffy foamy it's not foam it's like a pudding custard e type thing and you layer that with crushed up Oreo cookies and it's good it's not my favorite and then you can top it with like gummy worms and stuff it's never I'm not a big sweet eater I never have been so I don't miss the sugary things but Mr. Cinnamon and Juju have a sweet tooth and they love it and little man will eat it I mean he's it's not his favorite either he likes his favorite snacks are like seaweed he loves um Tom Young Goon flavored seaweed is his favorite from Taki, Taku, Takanoi and he likes potato chips and he will eat candy but he's like he's he's more of a salty eater like his mom um so trick-or-treating he we always throw a ton of candy away because and he doesn't even trick-or-treat like for he will just do our block and come home he's done he just wants a little bit of candy and he's he's had enough he's tired he wants to go home and eat his candy cool that works for me and he always has leftover that we throw away because you just can't consume that much candy especially when you're not a sweet eater like he's not really a sweet eater so yeah I want to know okay put it in the comments do you have Halloween traditions if you don't celebrate Halloween that's cool I don't care it's fine <laughs> um, just don't judge me for celebrating Halloween I love Halloween it makes me happy um, favorite I want I, I I'm this is a whole questionnaire I want below if you're a podcaster I want this on your channel okay these are the things cinema stitches wants to know was your favorite candy or Halloween treat? Was your favorite scary movie or Halloween movie? Do you have Halloween tradition? What do you do on Halloween night? Do you have a Halloween meal that you like? For us, we used to make pancit all the time. And um, pancit is a Filipino dish. It's really good. It's like noodles and vegetables and stuff in it. Um, and before we realized we were allergic to gluten, we would go to Sonic on the years we didn't do Ponset because Ponset looks like worms, so we would call it a bowl of worms. Um, it it really doesn't, but like uh, it that's what we called it. Or um, Sonic does fifty cent corn dogs, and so for a while there, because things were so busy, especially when the girls were all little, when the kids were little. So I had three girls and a little man as a little fireball. I would do corn dogs for them because I did not have time to prepare four kids costumes and get them ready and get them trick-or-treating because Mr. Cinnamon's working or Mr. Cinnamon's putting stuff up and my sister was always working never around so I would do all of the everything dinner trick-or-treating homework and um, it was just became a lot on me so like 50 cent corn dogs for everybody we get a whole bunch of corn dogs for the kids and they could have one before they went trick-or-treating and they could have another one when they came home from trick-or-treating and it was like good for everybody um so favorite halloween do you have a favorite halloween song do you like to listen to like monster mash purple people eater any of those um and any of the other things I stated in this video, I would really like to know all of those. Do you dress up? Do you pass out candy? Um, what else? Do you dress your dogs up or your cats up? Because that is so funny to me. <laughs> we used to. Um, our old 
our old dog Dede that passed away, we used to dress him up every year because he was such a good boy and he liked costumes and he liked, he knew he was a little dog. And so one year I made with yarn, I made him a full mane so he looked like a lion. And then later on, I took pictures of him and Juju together with the mane on. And they were Beauty and the Beast because she had a Beauty co uh, Belle costume. And then another year, we dressed him up like a bumblebee. And he was so stinking cute. He was such a good dog. Bentley hates wearing clothes. He will rub and rub and rub until I take the sweater off of him. He hates it. Uh, but he has really long fur. And his fur on his back end is kind of coarse. And so I can imagine that's like irritating. Oreo will wear a sweater until she's done with it, and then she will rub it up. And Scarlet will wear a sweater until she's done with it. So those two would dress up ideally. And um, I just think the puppies are too small to really dress up, or else I would totally dress them up for Halloween. But they're too small, and they're they're sick right now, and I just don't want to. Let's let them be sick. Let them start to feel better and deal with all that crap. So, yeah, with that, I hope you have a, a happy, safe Halloween do not drink and drive. Don't do anything and drive that's going to make you impaired. Don't do anything stupid. Be careful out there. Drive slow. Drive with your headlights on. If you're trick-or-treating with kids, make sure you got flashlights. Our neighborhood is treacherous because people drive through here like they're morons. And they just don't realize there's your kids everywhere. And we don't have street lights in our neighborhood. And it's really dark. And so I was thinking about bringing my big giant purple one as a flashlight so at least I have some sort of light somewhere but I don't know that that's going to help much I really would like a big giant not a mag light but you know like the, the big like this but a white light I would really like that but I don't have time to get one before tomorrow before trigger treating so I'm going to let you guys go I just really wanted to come on and make a video to end out the month and let you know what's going on um, I cancelled school today Actually, I planned today off two months ago. I was like, we're not doing school on Halloween. It is too much to have to do school, do costumes, do dinner, do all that. Luckily for me this year, though, not only do I have a crock, I, have, I actually have three crock, pot, three crock pots. I also have an Instapot, so like I can make dinner very easily and either let it sit all day like the roast beef that's currently in there. Or I could put something in the Instant Pot and it'd be done in an hour or less, depending on what I put in there. Um, or Mr. Cinnamon's going to probably make Ponset because that's what he wants. I don't want Ponset because Ponset is rice noodles and rice noodles have a lot of carbs in them. And I'm really trying to get my blood sugar down. My blood sugar is not high. It's higher than what it should be for what I'm eating. So I need to keep an eye on that. Um... But a lot of things can affect your blood sugar. A lot of things like stress can make your your blood sugar go up. And I'm stressed. I, it's not horrible. I feel good. Like I feel emotionally good. I am a crybaby because I'm exhausted. But like that's that's different than being moody and being oh my life sucks because I don't feel that at all. I feel very blessed with with what is going on i feel blessed that i'm able to take care of the puppies i'm blessed that i'm so happy about the the fundraiser and the gofundme we're at as of yesterday wednesday we're at like 1450 dollars for a washer and dryer even if even if we can't get to five thousand dollars to get them the industrial washer that i would love to get for them the 1500 will buy them a new pair of smaller washer and dryers. So to me, it's a success. I would really, really like to get them an industrial washer and dryer, but I'm going to take what I can give. And anyone who has donated anything to the shelter, thank you. Thank you from my heart, from Bentley's heart, from the puppy's hearts. The puppy's coughing little hearts in there. I can hear them. Well, that sounded more like a sneezing, but I really do thank you. Um, I know not everybody can afford that and I don't expect everyone to but it's scary to open up your heart like that and try to do any kind of fundraising because who am I to fundraise like I'm not I'm not a fundraiser I'm not one of those people that like do this I do it on occasion because like I feel like I have a platform I can 
And I just felt really impelled to do this. And to see it hit almost $1,500, it makes my heart so happy because I feel like I did something with all of your help. Like I, I, I contributed, we all contributed together and I'm so proud. And someone commented that like, you have a really amazing, generous community. Just look at the comments. And I was like, I really, really do. And for me, you look back on your life and you're like, okay, what are my accomplishments as a, as a human being? Like when I go to the pearly gates or whatever you believe happens after death, at the end of my life, when there's like a playback or you look back like, what did you do with your life? Like what were your big accomplishments? Being a mom, number one. I feel like so far I've raised some pretty good adults and I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job with little man considering all of the obstacles that we've had together. Um, I am really proud of the community that I've created on here. Um, there are other podcasters from all genres. It doesn't matter whether, and I'm not talking crochet or, or yarn specific. Like, If you look at YouTube as a grand scheme, there are different types of podcasters. There are podcasters who are very solitary and they don't associate outside of their 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 bubble. They they are on there to make a video and then they do not they don't do meetups with other people. They don't like it's just it's just the channel for them. It's all business. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing. That can be a very safe place. So that you don't have to deal with a bunch of drama and, and bull crap, okay? Then there's people who are, they like drama. They feed on drama. There's, a, like, there are certain genres of channels, like the gaming, they feed on drama and competition and, like, all that. There are certain channels that just love drama and, and gossip and, like, you know, the bull crap that I like to stay away from. <laughs> and then there's channels, and I'm not... I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone else is not at all what I'm saying. There are channels who create little bubbles and little communities of people with like-minded ideas. And it doesn't have to be like whatever is in my cinnamon stitches world. It could be whatever their bubble is. If there's gardeners and they just want to get together and just talk about plants. Like they create that cute little community in the bubble of plant life, right? I feel like we've created a really great community here in Cinema Stitches. I'm so proud of myself for that. And I'm so honored to be the leader for all of you guys. <laughs> I feel like, and I'm not, I'm not even a leader because there's a lot of you that I feel like are mother figures, grandmother figures, auntie figures that give me advice, that tell me I'm doing okay, that support me and it feels more like you know they're up here with me but i think we've done a good thing with this community i'm really proud of all of you um i get so much support and love in all kinds of ways like my facebook group is very supportive i've had a couple people that just come in and they don't understand like that's not what we do here and they're critical and like that you gotta go i'm gonna set you in your place that's not welcome here for the most part like the facebook group is a safe place and we all support each other i love that crafters supporting crafters is amazing but the same thing here on the youtube we are all part of something we're all part of like this this amazing community of love and nurturing and support and yarn craft and it's just cool it's just cool and when we can come together and like pull for something like Last year when we did the, the GoFundMe for Kayla, it was almost a year ago today. <laughs> it was around the same time, I believe. And so we raised a bunch of stuff. Like, we raised a bunch of money for Kayla to get her new teeth. And, she, like, she looks beautiful. She always did. But, like, that was really cool to be a part of. And now, like, this little puppy thing. It's just me and my dog, you know. I did it for him. And I'm so, I'm so honored to be a part of this. And with that, I'm going to let you go because I'm feeling all crybaby again. <laughs> and I don't want to cry, but I'm so tired. So tired. I, and now that I made the video, I can upload this. And while it's uploading, I can actually go lay down on the couch for a few minutes before Mr. Cinnamon comes home. And then dinner is already in the crock pot. I have a roast beef in one crock pot. And I made cauliflower au gratin in another crock pot, which is just cauliflower and like 
cheese and milk and um, garlic herb seasoning. It, I hope it's as good as it sounds. Um, but yeah. So that's taken care of. That's one less thing off my shoulders. I can just relax now and just... All I gotta do is tonight go pick up antibiotics for the puppies. And then tomorrow's Halloween while you're watching this. And I'm gonna have a good day. Halloween is gonna be a good day. The puppies are gonna be feeling better because they're gonna be on antibiotics. I'm gonna go trick-or-treating and we're gonna have good family time. And yeah. Thank you for watching this weird video with me and um, just listening to me talk. I really enjoy these talks we have together and I know sometimes it feels one-sided because I'm I don't even look at myself because if I looked at myself I'd be looking here I'm looking at you guys I'm imagining my friends out there <laughs> I really feel you guys out there and I love I love the communication back even if I can't comment and like all of the comments I'm just so glad that you're making the comments and that you're there and that you know I just appreciate you and with that I'm sending you all my love happy Halloween I'll see you in the next one